Big nights from Jenna Stevens and Hope Ogletree uh, lead Stanton to a win over Southwest Valley. Ladies, you guys moved to 10-2 and two on the year. Just your thoughts? Um, we knew we'd have to come in to the, tonight and play like any other game. We came off of a strong win Tuesday night, so we just want to keep building off of that. We just know we need a rebound because we're not pretty good. We're not getting good at those, so we had they had a couple good girls down low, so we had to get those rebounds. Fast start for you guys. Uh, what was it that was clicking uh, in the first quarter? Just playing our game, not getting flustered if they put a press on, and just running our offense. Yeah, just running it the right way, playing to our speed. Jenna, you really got going early. How much of an emphasis was there maybe pregame to, to get it to you down low? Um, I like to work inside a lot, especially when they're my size or shorter. We have really good people I get to work against in practice. My mom comes in. Our coach, Amanda, is really good about hitting us hard with making sure I can make the moves down low and being able to get past a defender. Hope, you did a little bit of everything tonight, create a lot of turnovers, were able to find some timely rebounds as well. Uh, just what can you say about your night, what you're able to get done? Well, I always try to move it fast, but I know I need to slow it down a lot. But when we do slow it down and we get it into Jenna on the inside and we do an inside-outside game. Seems like every time I see you guys defensively, you're making plays. So what is it that has been able to click with you on the defensive side? Um, I just... I just like to, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Just get after it. Yeah. You just, Marley. Yeah. How, does, how do you guys feel right now heading into the conference tournament? I know you got Griswold coming up tomorrow, hopefully, but then next week is the fun one. Um, we are going to, we really want to continue what we did last year. Yeah. We know it's not going to be easy. We have FM to get past first and then Sydney or East Mills, which could go either way. So we know it's not going to be an easy ride, but I definitely think we can do it. Yeah, we just need to be prepared for all of everything coming to us. All right, Coach, uh, fast start. You guys able to, to pull away early and, and get the win. Just your thoughts? Uh, yeah, we, we had a nice fast start. That was good. Uh, I was a little concerned about how we ended the first half, uh, and that was a major uh, part of our talk at halftime, you know, that we come out and, uh, you know, get rolling again like we did in that first quarter. And I thought they responded very well. Yeah, I think it was an 18-2 to two third quarter, something like that. What were some of the things in the third quarter that your team did well to, to really put the game away? Well, I would say uh, get the ball inside, uh, pass the ball well, move the ball around. Uh, I think when we got stagnant in the first half, we were standing a lot and taking a lot of early shots. Talk about Jenna's night. She got going early, I think 21 points for her on the evening. Uh, just you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna go to her inside. If we're able to get it into her inside, it's gonna go there. And she's been uh, Im improving her left hand. Her left hand looks great right now, uh, and uh, just doing a really good job with her footwork and and getting herself open to get those shots. When you've got a post presence like like Jenna and a point guard like Marley, and then someone that can shoot outside like Abby, how big is it to have someone like Hope Ogletree who just kind of does a little bit of the dirty work inside and being able to create turnovers? It's just totally complimentary. You know, it's a very complimentary group of girls. Uh, their skills uh, fit each other as far as, you know, we got good skills doing this, but, uh, you know, somebody else has good skills doing that, and it, it just complements real well. Ten wins on the season so far. Just your thoughts of the way things have gone up to this point? Uh, you know, I, we, we've got ten wins, but we have two losses, and I think the, the important thing about the losses is we've learned from the losses. Uh, and and it just, it's just making us better. So uh, that's where we're kind of at. We're, we're looking forward to our conference tournament heading into next week. And, uh, uh, you know, our goal, obviously, is to get to that championship game.